Hey, True Believers, it's Anglantine here with a review of the Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 25. So this has gotten some press. I figured, okay, got to check it out, see what it's all about. And right away I realized, I don't know crap about the Power Rangers. It's just not, my, my kids were too young, I was too old, it didn't look appealing to me, it didn't even scratch my geek itch when Power Rangers started coming out. So it never appealed to me at all. No, my my Japanese show brought over here was Battle of the Planets, which was Gachamon and uh, Ultraman. And I don't even remember, oh, well, Speed Racer, of course, as well. I don't remember anything about Ultraman except for how he looked and he fought other guys in costumes looking like they're giants because they ran around little models. But I'm talking about anything but the comic book right now. So at the very least, this is a unique perspective from a guy who all he learned about the Power Rangers... He learned from the movie, and I have to say, they did not mention Krispy Kreme Donuts once in this co comic book. So, sorry, I, I don't know if this is true Power Rangers. They really love this Krispy freaking Kreme Donuts in that movie. I, I just figured it was like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the pizza. You know, it was just their thing, but apparently it wasn't. But, okay, anyway, getting getting into a little bit of serious, seriousness with the book... As for someone who does not know what's going on, this works as a jump-on spot. Now, granted, I don't have the uh, I don't have enough knowledge for the emotional impact of what happens in the book, but it still worked. Uh, the 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 dialogue gives you everything you need to know. So does the descriptive narrative. The art works and it wor it works for the book because it's kind of cartoon realistic i mean it, you know it's it, it looks like a cartoon it looks like it could have come right off of an animation uh a, a, an animated program without actually being cells taken from the you know i hate those kind of books it's entertaining i liked it it was it, it's fun at the very least it was fun and right away it, you get into some myth you get in some mythos for for the power rangers and i do appreciate that does it make me a power rangers fan eh, no i might continue i will you know find out issue number 26 to find out what happens but this seems like a special event issue this seems like uh even if you didn't know and you heard of power rangers maybe you want to check it out because it's a big deal what happens at the end of this. And no, I'm not showing what happens at the end of this. I'm not going to spoil anything if you haven't heard it already, which I'm sure you have because I've seen a lot of comic book news sites that have headlines up saying, hey, this spoiler happens right here in this book. You should check it out. I never understood reviews like that. It's like, you got to enjoy it that much, but you're not going to let other people enjoy it the same way? I, I don't get it. It just seems like a crappy way of going about life, like a rich man who's into socialism. It just doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, what can I say? What else can I say without spoiling it? Um, not every ranger is present. I did notice that. I was expecting to uh, see everybody together. It's really about, I'm sorry, uh, Pink Ranger and I want to say Red Ranger? Was he, or he was Green Ranger. Anyway, it's about the basically the two characters you're seeing on... Uh, that they were talking there, the girl and the guy. It has an opening action scene, and then for like 10 pages almost, it's dialogue. I, I could be exaggerating there, but for a lot of it, it's just dialogue getting you, and that's that's what helps because it really does draw you into the characters in the myth. I got to admit, I heard Brian Cranston's voice for what's his name, Zerg or Zord or whatever his name was. I'm telling you, I know nothing about Power Rangers. That's why, you know, that's why I think this is a unique position because I, I really don't, yet it worked for me. So if you are a fan of Power Rangers, this may knock you, it may just be a home run. This might knock it right out of the park for you. So if you are a fan, definitely check it out. But that's just my opinion. What is yours? Have you read Power Rangers number 25? This is making its rounds. It's very popular. I'd like to hear what you think. What, what do you have to say for it, especially if you're a fan? Let me know in the comments below. 
Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, click like, click share. You know the drill. Of course, that gets word out about the channel. And don't forget to hit subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss anything like uh, Comic Book Thunderdome every Saturday night at 9 p.m. where we put two geeks against each other and fight out all those debates and arguments you might have on comic book forums and in the comic book shops. It's tons of fun, so check that out. Also, this is the way you make a living. So if you don't mind... Uh, helping out the channel, go on over to Patreon, drop a dollar in the till, and help us keep the lights on. Help us keep making videos for you. Help us improve our equipment to make videos for you as well. And for as little as a dollar, you get to join the great graphic novel video... video blah, 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 that's about, what am I saying? The great graphic novel giveaway, where basically we just draw a name of one of our patrons out of the hat, and whoever gets picked wins a graphic novel. We send to you, easy peasy. Easy as that. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that, and to everyone, all of the true believers, we say thank you very, very much for watching.